Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. As you can see, I was able to load back into the game uh, just fine. It seems to be working, and I haven't had any issues. Of course, I've only been in the game for about five minutes. just been kind of sitting here uh, waiting to see if anything would happen, and, and nothing has. So uh, I have good feelings about this. Hopefully, it will work. I went ahead and left my guys over here to uh, kind of recharge the batteries a little bit while we were waiting anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. Doesn't really matter which one we put in here. Uh, in fact, we should just put both of them in there, let them drain completely uh, while we do this. Now, I was thinking about these blocks while I was sitting here waiting, and I don't know why I got into my head that they were like damaged blocks that maybe you can repair it. It says they're obsolete, so I'm guessing, just thinking about it, that what this is is... Uh, something that they put in the game in the past like this this looks familiar i forgot what it used to do but this looks a very familiar to a base piece that you could have i think it was oh what was it i don't know it might have been these uh these uh delivery cannons although it doesn't really look like a delivery can it looks like something else it might have been i don't know fabricator or something along those lines but it was in the game and i'm guessing they changed the design of it and those those pieces are no longer in here but they left it in maybe as, uh, like, they're going to get around to taking them out. Or they left it in as, like, a blast from the past to show you what the pieces kind of look like beforehand. I think that's kind of a cool idea. I wouldn't mind them doing that when they finally got to the finished product and uh, leaving some of this stuff in just to show the fans. Or, or maybe even making it, like, an option that you could turn on and see the original graphics or something like that. Just to show people who are really passionate about the game what it you know kind of progress from I mean yeah people can go back and they watch the old episodes that I and other youtubers have done and, and see what they look like and see kind of what the gameplay used to be and where it went if they really really want to but at the same time it'd be nice if they could use it you know and actually experience for themselves and I think you know you could probably find the uh, the updated patch things online oh there we go you know and, and get one of the old updates uh, but I don't know. I, I'd rather just have the game incorporated itself. Uh, you know, it doesn't really leave anything there. You know, what I will pick up, though, is I will get rid of this and this corner piece, and I will go with another wheel. I don't want to go too far out because then it won't be able to get repaired. As you can see, it's pretty close to being out of range as it is, but that's going to give me a little bit more momentum because, uh, you know, the more wheels you have, the better off you're going to be usually. Usually, not always, but... Uh, oh, we got another one of these little guys, these little venture guys. I kind of do want to get some of those blocks and do an entire bot with that. I think what I'll end up doing... Oh, and he has a lot of good weapons on him. I think what I'll end up doing with that, to be honest, is just buying the pieces. Like, I'll find them out here, but then once I find them, uh, you know, I'm just... Ooh, we got a light here we haven't, we haven't seen before. Now, this is a very, very powerful light. I love these little guys. And on my other computer, when I was testing out this game, considering it's so uh, so much more powerful of a computer, I was able to use these lights, and they really do add an ambiance to the game. If your computer is capable of using them, I would highly suggest you giving them a try. And just, uh, and I, but when I say capable, I just mean you know, is it viable option for you to use them and not get so much lag that it's just going to annoy you to, to no end? Ooh, this guy has some of the big wheels, guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, we're taking that. What are those? What are those things in the back? How did he get his wheels to go like that? What is that? What are these things? Oh, they're brackets, right? Yeah, they're brackets. Oh, come on. I'm looking at something here. There we go. Okay, you're dead. Come on, let me put it on before it gets destroyed. Okay, so it's on now. Yes, okay, so it is on. And as long as it's on my bot for half a second, I do have access to buy that. So let's see, what about these brackets here? We'll throw some of the brackets here on the side. What am I going to do with these wheels? There's another set of different wheels right here. Hmm. Which way is the front? Which way is the back? Okay, so that's the back. I guess I'll throw them on the back for now. Let's see. We're going to have to move these weapons over. That way we can make room because uh, the big one's going to take up four. It takes up four slots. So let's get rid of this for now. We'll put that there. It's going to line up with the rest. And, of course, we could always lower it down one more. 
but we don't really want to do that for the main fact that we just only have one of them. Only one survives. So if we make it uneven, it's going to get really, really hard to kind of control this uh, this bot. So let's get rid of these wheels right here for now. And we will go with... Uh, it's the same one. I thought maybe it was uh, some of the bigger ones, but no. That's the same kind as I already have. I guess what I could do is get rid of these and use these uh, these Venture ones. I don't think they support as much weight, but I think, uh, you know, they are obviously faster than any of the other ones, so in situations like this where it's already kind of like right there where I, I want it, I might as well just uh, upgrade and put that in there. I have an extra wheel there. Yeah, I don't really want to put that one on. Do I have any place for the Venture Fire Rifles? If I don't, uh, I'll make one because I prefer to have those guys. They do a little bit more damage, but they have a, a bigger range. They can they can go around in a 360 if you have them in the right spots. Okay, so I got power left, and I think as long as we have power, we're going to come out here and fight this guy. Come on, little punky. I want your stuff. Give it to me. Oh, come on. No, I'm, I'm tilted toward the side. Oh my god, this guy, he is stacked with weapons. I don't know, he might he might get through my shield. Let me back up a little bit. At least that way only his mortars are hitting me. Oh, check it out. My guys are going right for him. I don't know where he's at, but it looks like he's right in the center. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Oh, come on. How much damage am I doing? Okay, well, he doesn't have too many weapons left. Yes, get rid of it all. Ah, oh, come on, don't freeze. Don't freeze in battle. There we go. Oh, he's right in the center. You can see where all his stuff is right smack dab in the center. Are right, we gonna get him? I don't know. I don't know if we are or not. Now we have to get rid of his uh, his AI. Is he gonna blow? There we go. Okay, so we didn't lose anything there, guys. Our shield held. Uh, all our pieces are completely repaired actually look through this stuff and see if there's anything there we need uh, no it just looks like blocks but let's give it a double check make sure there's not something hiding in there what about these wheels are these the nope those are the regular ones there are like I said before uh, some other wheels besides this one that's what I'm looking for I don't remember what they were called though so weapons don't really need any more weapons which is weird let's see what else is over here I'll get some more mortars. I really, really wish I could pick up the mortars, but I can't right now. I don't know if I like the map at night. Look at that. It looks more like a bullseye kind of thing than a map because uh, it's so transparent. It's black on the, on the, the inside. We're going to go ahead and bypass all these guys, try to make our way back to the base. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't really want this bot to get destroyed. And until I can regenerate or recharge the batteries... That's probably what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, he is stacked with weapons, so he could probably take on one bot uh, and just have to, uh, you know, find a lot of uh, replacement pieces. And they, I just mowed that tree down with speed alone, guys. That, that did damage my bot a little bit, but uh, the fact that I can take down trees now, like, you couldn't do that before. You could hit them and bounce off of them, and, like, a couple pieces would fall out, but I was never able to just run right over trees and just completely annihilate them. Uh, you know, at all, so that's kind of cool that that is something that happens. Uh, what are we going to do here? Uh, come on, why am I stuck on all these hills? Why did they have to put it on a hill? Like, they knew that was going to cause people problems trying to get up here. Uh, that's just... My guy's too big. That's why I wanted those big wheels. I might be able to buy a few. Let's see if I can buy a few of those things. Come on, let me get over there at least. Please. Come on, let me... Uh, you know what? If I can buy a few, I'll just sell some of my wills and uh, some of the other wills, I should say, and that will allow me to be able to buy even more. Let's see, what do I have in here to buy? Uh, there they are, right there, 600 a piece. Well, yeah, I do have enough to buy three more, which is really all I need, one for each one of the corners. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh man, that's gonna take me down pretty low, but. At least I can do something different with this guy that I haven't done yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw these over here. And we'll sell those now that we don't need them. Let's uh, move these weapons around. I'm going to have to move these to another side, I think. Yeah, let's put them in the front. 
because they're going to take up four. So let's put them right there. Hmm. I guess we don't need that because it's not going to line up right. So let's put that there for now. Again, we will uh, move these down one more square so they're having a little bit higher off the ground once we get all four of them on there. But I don't want to really make it uneven right off the bat. Let's let's put these in here. Can they not? Why has a hard time kind of grouping those into the right area? There we go. It is getting daylight. I will put my uh, charger down here in a second because I kind of need that to be charged up. Let's do that real quick just so that it can start doing it while we wait. I'll put down three batteries. You know, this is kind of becoming a routine. Like, this is something you're going to have to do early on in the game. I didn't realize, uh, you know, at later levels just how nice it was when I got my, my base bot uh, not to have to do that anymore. So, yeah, it's kind of bringing me back to the old days of let's actually put that in there so he has something a little bit more to, you know, grip onto. Yeah, I like that, guys. That is going to be nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell this. And, of course, uh, you know, I never really looked at the price of how much you get versus how much it costs. Are you getting a full price or are you just getting portion? You know, I'm pretty sure you're probably not the full price. Uh, let's actually look in there. We got 400 for that big wheel, the uh, the Venture Core one that we just sold. Or not the Venture Core, the Venture. So let's see how much are those worth. These right here, they're worth 400. So you get the actual price of what they're worth. You don't lose anything. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I, I like that. Let's and I can say show you guys that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and sell another one, and we're gonna get. Come on, sell it. If it will, come on, you know you want to sell it. Somebody wants to buy it. There we go, 400. So, yeah, that's that's not bad at all. I like that. Let's put this down. Let's see. We're going to put our batteries back real quick. Charge this up. There we go. And then we will put them back for one more charge now that it's spread out between those guys. And I believe we're up to five or six batteries. There's a few down in the hold there. And I could actually put a few more. I could take these these blocks out now and put the batteries in there. In fact, I guess we can just go ahead and do that because there's really no reason not to. Let's see. Put this down. Ah, come on, charge up already. What are you taking so long? Come on. You know you want. Oh, there you go. Let's see. We're going to have to zoom in, though, yeah? That's going to be the only downside is we won't be able to take out as many next time. On, go on, there we go. Yeah, one will be the one that I get to take out, but I get to fit this in there now, so it's a little safer than it was a few minutes ago. And now we are gonna go rushing out into the wilderness. What am I stuck on now? What's wrong? Why, why won't it turn? Is it not getting enough grip? There we go. Okay, look at that, guys. That is amazing. This will allow you to not get stuck on these hills. So, like right there, look how low to that ground that would be. Of course, there is a downside to this, guys. Keep in mind that the enemies, these small guys, especially like this guy up here in front of me, if he was just one high, if I get rid of his weapon, he'd be small enough to run right underneath me. And what they will do, yeah, see, he's right underneath me. And, oh, and that's what they will do. They will get right underneath you and then explode. And you take a tremendous amount of damage. Plus, keep in mind that most of the time when you made this bot, you made it with... Uh, with your cab on the very bottom level, which is not a really good idea to do. Once you get to higher levels, you kind of want to move him up to like the second or third. Uh, but he's right here on the bottom. And if the guy comes underneath you and explodes with a, a good enough force, he can just destroy that right off the bat. And, oh, that sucks. You know, like you, you put all that effort into designing this bot. Ooh, there's a base out there. Oh, yes, guys. We're going to come out here and grab this base real quick. Yeah. What are we going to get here? I don't know, but I want it. You're going down, buddy going dirty. Oh, come on. Come on. Stop destroying the base. If, if you keep attacking that base, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm already going to destroy you, but I'll be mean about it. You don't want me to be mean about it. Okay, dude, you asked for it. I'm going to come over here and just spank you. I'm not even going to fire until I'm right on top of you. See? See? See what I mean? I'm just teasing you, you know? You can't do anything to me, buddy. And then my shield wears off. Oh, no, no, no. It's getting damaged. He's still there. Okay, how do I get this? I have to destroy him. That's the only way that I can claim this, I believe. So I kind of want to turn. Wow, these wheels suck at turning. I don't know if they're just in bad positions or I don't have enough of them or what, but 
I think they're probably over encumbered by the weight. There we go. You're dead, guy. Well, I mean, this... This really isn't all that great. I mean, yeah... Why can't I pick it up? Do I have to destroy it? I thought they got rid of that. So you just had to destroy the enemies that were around it. And then you could pick it up. There we go. Well, I don't really need that. Where'd it go anyways? There it is. Hmm. I don't know if I want to put that on. It's going to be one more thing draining my power. So I probably won't use that. But if you use this and then a wireless charger, you can charge up all your batteries while uh, the solar generator is, is doing this. So I kind of want to get those as soon as possible. In fact, I should check next time I'm at the... I think we're not that far away. We could actually check when we go back. Let's see. What did we get over here? Lights? I don't really need any sneaking lights. Give me something good, guys. Oh, come on. Move your butt. We're going to get rid of these wheels that I have on the side. No reason to keep those. They're just adding weight and not giving me anything in return. Let's come over here and check out this guy since we're in the area. No. Just junk. We could get the wheels. 400 apiece adds up. We're already at 3,000 right now. And again, you know what? Like three to 4,000, I would say you probably have enough to build a pretty nice bot. You know, there's going to be a few pieces that are kind of expensive, but overall, I think you're going to be you're going to be ready to go on that. So, let's go ahead and get rid of these wills and then we will buy a few more because I think uh, that's well, maybe one more on each side cuz I don't think it's going to fit more than that the way we have our our guys set up. Let's see. Actually, while we're here, let's let's see if we got that wireless charger. I don't think we did though. Let's see, wireless charger, give me a wireless charger, static delivery, refinery, flatbed tractor pad, go down way too far for some reason, okay, GSO, generator, no, no, doesn't look like it is going to be here, GSO, text rock boosters, those are cool, uh, yeah, we got that. Uh, let's see. Come on, where is it at? Just so that I know that we haven't found it yet. Three, a grade three fabricator? They didn't used to have a, a grade three fabricator. Oh, spotlight. Why is it way down here? Like, it's going to scroll all the way down here to see if that's there. There's all the things you get for your plane. Some lights. Big pop of fuel tank. Wireless charger right there. GSO wireless charger. Hmm. Max silo. One large stack. I don't know on that one. Let's go ahead and buy some wheels while we're here. Let's do two of those. If it will let us. Come on. There we go. And one more. Let's see. Is there anything else that we've discovered that we were just not aware of? Okay. There's our lights right there. Mm, nothing really. Let's see. What about Geocore? Yeah, we haven't run into any of these yet. We need to go to the mountainous region to find those. Special, the the bunny ears, the jolly green rat hat, uh, birthday cake hat, and the ice cream sundae, named after uh, the YouTuber sundae. So let's, uh, let's put these down on this side. Yeah, see, we can't quite get another one in there, but I think that's going to help with the weight. Mm, this side may be a little tricky because I didn't quite do this side the right way. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Hmm. If we had more blocks, I would just fix it, but I don't really want to... I don't know. I guess we could put it in... We could get rid of this guy. Put him over here. Get rid of this block for now. Oh, and it's a double side. Ah, dang it. What about you? Are you two side? Okay, we can do that. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Kind of. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> I don't really like the way it looks, but we, we can change it up later once we get some more blocks. So now that is moving a little smoother, actually, guys. That I think it was just weight. I think it was really just weight that was causing us not to turn very well with these wheels because they should be so much better uh, than the other ones, and they are. Uh, I think eventually I will go forward one or back one so that I can put an extra wheel in there. Let's see, what are you? You look you look like Venture. That's a right. Let's go over to the Salt Flats. Let's see what we can find in the Salt Flats. And I think on the next episode, we're going to go over to the mountainous region and see if we can find some Geocore ones. Now, those are going to lead to bigger and, in my opinion, usually better bots because they could just hold so much more. 
but uh, you know they will cause you more lag so be aware of that let's see what is that out there oh you know we've already been out here apparently and we've left some left some trash out here and they haven't despawned yet I wonder what the timer is on that because it they don't usually last that long I've seen it plenty of times where I kill an enemy at least in the past where I'll kill an enemy and uh, before I can even pick everything back up or before all the stuff uh, you know that fell off my guy you can see we're not quite hitting him because none of his blocks are turning red. There we go. Now we're getting fuel. What is this guy covered? In three pound cannons? Yep, that's what it looks like. Let's see. Can we zoom out a little bit? There we go. Oh, yeah. He's going to try to sit in that butter zone. Let me see. Can I back up into him? Oh. You suck. Oh, I, I killed most of his weapons. So even though, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of being in an area that I don't really like, uh, there's not much he can do about it. Uh, there's just a few weapons left on him. Ah, oh, come on. No! He got through. He got through my shield, and he's destroying stuff. Oh, no. There we go. Come on, destroy him already. Destroy him. Destroy him. You can do it. He only has, like, two weapons left. Three weapons. There you go. One more. One more. Take it out. There we go. Now he's no longer concerned. Oh, no. What did they destroy? Oh, they destroyed one of my... Uh... Was it a battery? No, it wasn't a battery. It was a uh, shield, a repair bubble or something along those lines. Let's see. What else did he destroy? Uh, I don't know. A few weapons, yeah, obviously. But I can't even hit that guy. I can't even hit him from this direction. Okay, let's put this on. Get it to recharge. There we go. I just didn't want it to uh, get destroyed here when I turn around. You just never know what's going to be around the next corner. Let's uh, go ahead and put this back on. Let that go up one more. That way we do have a little bit when it comes to uh, roaming around. We're going to go ahead and put this down here for now. Let's put that there. And this one right here. I don't know. I don't really need the booster. I mean, it was kind of nice to have, but... It's not really necessary. It didn't really add anything to to what I got. Let's see. Yeah, he's just going to run around behind me until I fix it. So let's come over here. You know, I can't even fix it. I can't fix it until I destroy it because I need his block. So, yeah, we're going to have to spin around him and get to the front because that's where my weapons I can actually aim at him are. You're a little punk. Let's, let's twist and go the other way. I hate you. I hate you. Let's see if we can back up in time. Kinda. I mean... Now we can back up. Back up and go the other way. Nope. He's trying to... Uh, he's, he's pretty good. He, he knows exactly which direction I'm trying to go. Yep. Yeah, see, he's reversing. Anytime I, I tell it to go left or I turn it to go right, he'll reverse. And he'll go the other direction. A little punk, man. He does have a weapon on the front of him. Ah. I don't know what to do with this guy. I need to get him over here on the other side. And I don't really like the keyboard not allowing you to do more than one key at the same time. Or you can do two keys. I can either go forward and left at the same time. But then I can't hit my fire button. Or I can just go forward... And then I can fire, or I can just go left and I can fire. I can't do three buttons at once, and I don't know why. That doesn't seem, you know, right to me. That seems like that's kind of a flaw. There we go. That's what I wanted. Die already. Give me your stuff. Give it to me. Yeah, okay, you're gone. Whew. Wow, that was a tough fight, guys. I don't know about that one. That one's... Let's go ahead and put this down while there's still a little bit daylight. And we're going to go ahead and rebuild our guy for like the umpteenth time now. Uh, this thing gets destroyed so easily now. Let's go ahead and put this thing down. The enemies are getting harder. That's all I got to say, guys. They are definitely getting more challenging as time goes on. Uh, I guess we will use that there. I kind of didn't want to do that, but we could do that. Let's go out this way. That way we can fit a few more things in here. There we go. Charge that up a little bit. Take that off. Let it charge up a little bit more while it's still daylight. What about this? We're going to put that there. What is the power on this sucker? 
and it's gonna get nighttime any second here and this is gonna be a dangerous area to be in and you gotta remember we've been out here for a little while I've been kinda hoping that an invader would spawn and they just haven't spawned yet so we're gonna stay out here even on the next episode but what we probably will do is try to stay out in this region while we head to the desert and that way uh, you know we can see when that guy spawns but again it is dangerous to be out here during night because if that guy does spawn and you don't have uh, you know your batteries fully charged or something along those lines you know it could spell doom for you those guys are tough they will chances are get through your shields just like you see these guys that I'm fighting right now they get through my shields and uh, you know they're, they're they do a quite a bit of damage really quickly so you just want to be extra extra cautious with those guys they can really wreck everything that you've been working so hard to make and uh, you know you gotta you gotta roll with it because I think that's hilarious when it happens to me after the fact you know during it I'm like no we <laughs> worried all the, all that hard work and then you're just like you know palm facing uh, you know and be like oh, I can't believe I did that why did I go out there that soon but then when you think back on it later on after you've already had to uh, you know redesign it rebuild and stuff like that yeah, for me anyways I have really good memories of that because it really forced me to uh, change things up and do things a little differently uh, than I normally probably would have so I think that's all the weapons I need right there I mean there's a few slots that I could put more weapons on but I kind of want to wait until I get the stuff that I need for it like I I can I can be picky because I don't have a lot of space on this spot let's go ahead and kill this guy real quick let's get face him can sneak up behind him or not I thought that was from behind, but no, holy crap. It might actually be, because the other side has even more weapons on it uh, than, than the side we were facing. Yep, he's going to try to sneak up from behind on me. They like doing that. They definitely like doing that. I don't know why. It's not like I have less weapons on the back side than, uh, than any other side. But they, they do uh, kind of favor one side more than the other, it seems. Oh, no, come on. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Drive! Drive! Oh, man. They got through. They, I love the way it looks when he fires. I love the fact that they have so many different colors for uh, the different weapons they have on there, guys. Can we hit that? Can we, can we hit anything there? No, nope, we're not quite low enough. Invasion in 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Okay, so we finally got our wish just at the worst possible timing. Isn't that the way it always works for us? Uh, I don't know. What do you think we should do, guys? I think we should run it, because we're already damaged. We have no power What's what to, what to speak of. What I kind of want to do is kind of stay in the general area and just see what it looks like when it when it spawns. You know, see if it, like, just appears or, you know, if it flies down from the sky, or, you know, what's the shape of it? You haven't been invaded by cannon from Twee... Ether cloud. Oh, look at that, guys. He is... Are they Are they fighting each other? Well, not really fighting each other, because one doesn't have any weapons left. Actually, it does. It does have some weapons, and they are fighting each other. And I know they can destroy it for you, and you will get credit for it, and I don't know if you still make money off of it, but uh, you used to. You used to make quite a bit of money from destroying those, as well as being able to get the items from the enemy. So, I don't know. I think I kind of want to stay right here and wait for, for Dayfall and see if I can charge up real quick and repair. And if I can repair and get my shields up, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and attack that guy. But uh, what we're going to do, guys, is in the episode here while I wait for that to happen, because it may be another 5 minutes, another 10 minutes, there's a little guy kind of sneaking up here on my left side, or my right side. I'm hoping he stays there and he doesn't get any closer to me. But I, like I said, I think we're going to end the episode here. I do want to thank you all for watching these episodes. If you do enjoy them, uh, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe definitely helps grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, just be sure that you subscribe to the right thing. Uh, you know, if, if you want to watch all the stuff that I do, which is quite a bit, something like uh, four to five daily episodes uh, on, on an average, sometimes up to seven or more, uh, you know, you want to subscribe to the video. That way you don't see any of the other ones. If you want to see all these other ones, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because uh, that's that's definitely the way you'll be able to get notice of, of those. Uh, you're going to blow up and you're going to give me... Yeah, you're going to give me another battery. I, I, I guess that wasn't too bad. And a few pieces of weapons, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see here in a second. But again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.